I was just sitting and thinking what should I make for the next tutorial. So I opened a TikTok and started scrolling. Then I saw this edit. It looks clean, smooth, and honestly pretty cool. And I thought to myself, yes, that's it. Let's turn this into a tutorial. So yeah, I'm back. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make it. And only you need is light motion and your phone. So let's jump into the tutorial. First of all, to create those cool dance videos, we need to use a website or app called Wiggle AI. And since I'm using a PC, I open up Google Chrome and search for Wiggle AI. Then I click on the first website that pops off. Once you're in the website, click on the Try on Web button. And at this point, you need to sign in to your account. After signing in, go to the Hot Picks section. There you will find a collection of ready-made uh, ready videos, including the dance videos you're looking for. Then click on the video and hit the remix button. Here you can add image of your favorite player and for me I wanna go with the, those three goats. Once you've added the image, click on the remix again. Now it's done. Just click on this download icon to save the video. Nothing else to do. Here. Let's move on to the light motion. Now import your song and the clips we create with the AI. Then tap on fill composition to match the clips with your project's aspect ratio. From here it's just the basic editing, like adjusting the position, cutting the clips and things like that. Now add markers on your timeline so you can see exactly where, um, where the bits are. Once you're done, add a rectangle shape and change its color to white. Scale up the shape and move it on top. Then move the text to the top and scale it up. And then do the same steps I just showed you.
Now add the player's clip. And here, it's also a basic step. Just cut the clips where needed. After that, I'm going to show you how to make cool shake effect. Now everything is done, there's just one more thing left, and that's the shake effect, so... So for the first step, add the tiles, effects... We are not changing many settings, just turn on mirror. Next! Go to the effect and add motion blur. Set the tune value to 1.40. Then go back to the effect and add random displacement. Now, add a keyframe. Move forward a few frames and add another keyframe. For the first keyframe, set the magnitude to 400. And for the second keyframe, bring it down to 0. Now, do the same keyframe step for the evolution settings, but with different values. Then go to the graph editor and apply the same graph I make. Repeat this for the evolution as well. Now, go to Effects and add Exposure. Create keyframes for the exposure. Set the first keyframe to 0.50. Set the second keyframe to 0. Go to effects again and add oscillate.
Set the angle to 90 degrees. Follow my steps here. For the last effect, add Gaussian Blur Create keyframes like we did for the other effects Set the first keyframe to 100 and the second keyframe to 0 Then go to the graph editor and apply the same graph I showed you. Now it's done. Copy these effects and apply them to the other clips as well. Thanks for watching this tutorial, see you all next time.